Hi guys, the Tam and Dwayne Love and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have a new quarterback and it's Tom Brady. So let's talk about it. So some shocking NFL news as Tom Brady, um, earlier today he left the Patriots. A move that I kind of saw coming, I just had this feeling last year that that was his final season with the Patriots, but the him and the Patriots parted ways, and then Tom Brady went to Florida to be with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the new quarterback. Now, this is a move that is still weird for me. I still, like, I'm still kind of comprehending it, but I have some good thoughts on this overall. I think I'm positive. The best thing about this is if you're a Buccaneers fan. The Buccaneers have a lot of good offensive players. They have Mike Evans, who's fantastic. Chris Godwin, who just took off last year. I was like, oh my goodness, this guy went from like an 82 in Madden to like an 89. <laughs> he was like, he was really good last year. And they also had Brashad Perriman, who kind of emerged, and some other people. I was like, okay. And, you know, the quarterback was Jameis Winston, who is a risk taker. And I think that Tom Brady, with this cast, can really take them places. You know, this is, I think, a system that um, has receivers that are good in, like, jump ball types of areas, but also run after the catch. You know, Tom Brady, before the play, what he does so well is, okay, I'm going to identify this coverage, make the right read, and let the receivers do the rest. And that's what he can do here. You know, okay, Chris Godwin can go in and slant. Godwin has a speed, and he can get, like, 20 yards on only – a player supposed to go five yards. Like, this team is so good receiver-wise after the catch, and I think Brady is perfect for that. You also have Bruce Arians, who is such a great coach, very underrated. He's really good. And I think him and Brady, just, they just, I think they will mesh well together. Another aspect that I really like of this that not a lot of people are talking about is the leadership. The Buccaneers have some good defensive players and offensive players, but a lot of them are young. You know, Devin White, Vita Vea, they have some guys in the secondary, Sean Murphy Bunting, and I think someone like Tom Brady, who's just kind of that leader, has this presence, who can kind of coach you got these guys up. I really like that. So this is a good move overall. Um, you know, Tom Brady gets to stay on the East Coast. That was a big deal for him. I like that. Shows that family matters to him. You know, people have always been up and down about Brady, but he's a great guy, you know, really cares for his family. Family. He's also in the NFC South, which means um, the Buccaneers and the Saints will be playing each other twice a year. So that means hopefully we see Brady versus Breeze twice a season, two of the best quarterbacks playing. Now, that'll be really fun. This is a bit weird, I think, with the whole what happens to Jameis Winston type of deal. You know, was it the best way to give up on Winston this early? I don't know. But what I do know is the Buccaneers got themselves a pretty good quarterback who I think will work really well in this system. So overall, I think I'm very positive on this signing. Well, guys, now do it here. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of the Buccaneers quarterback? This is huge news. Free agency this year has been great. And more videos will be coming your way soon. So tell me this is Matam and Doyle Love. See you all next time. Take care and bye-bye.